Dark Hour Hello there, Dark Hour. Everyone here, and welcome back to some more from the devs after half a year because I was kind of burnt out on this game and the changes the devs are making may or may not, may or may not be agreeing with them all that much. But that's a topic for another video. But nonetheless, we are back in from the devs because Dr. Croza requested us to review this thing. And I kid you not, I, I, my, my pants are brown now. They used to be white. I'm wearing white pants, sweatpants, and they're brown now. Look at the fucking cost of this thing. It's inside of ignorations. So yeah, I calculated that. This thing cost 11 fucking million almost. 11 million. I just... <laughs> let's load this in. I haven't looked into it. I have looked into the screenshots and that's why I decided to do it anyway. 11 million. Okay, now we are inside the Gadium. Uh... uh uh, yeah, it is actually running, guys. It's it's a fucking slideshow. It's really a slideshow. Look at look look at all the drones, man. Come on, this gigantic thing. You guys remember the Gadium? It's a rendition of that thing. And look at the amount of <laughs> drones flying with pride. There are even helicopter drones. I don't know what to do with this, guys. Like. Some of you guys might be thinking, Daka, why don't you just reduce your graphics? Shh, shh, shh. The shh. Listen, my child. Listen. I have a GTX 1070, okay? Some of the drones are crashing. But yeah, I have a GTX 1070. And I'm running this in 1080p, okay? But even for your satisfaction, I'll just show you guys. Let's go to option. Let's go to performance. Actually, graphics. And boost my performance, okay? That's the lowest possible in this game. Did the fucking frame rate increase? The answer is yes, by one frame. So it's just CPU bottleneck at this point, and I can't do anything about it. So yeah, let's get back. And I think the CPU is freeing a little. Let's go maximum, back to maximum quality. The CPU is freeing a little after some of the drones have crashed and bombarded themselves, but the ones that are falling, he even thought about that, look at that, it's getting repaired by a gazillion repair tentacles. What is this? What is this if not the epitome of gay pride? I, I love this thing. <laughs> if only the smokes were a little brighter, but yeah. Devs, you don't know what you have done by allowing us to make colorful smoke. You have given birth to this, Nick Smart, by coding in multi-threading and all that rainbow smoke. Just why? I would question why. I assume if this thing is running at 16 FPS on my PC, the guy who made it is doing it on a laptop. Or uh, I think it's not that great of a PC. How did you do it, Dr. Cruiser? How did you do it with F5 FPS? Let's check this out up close. The drones. Let's let's pause everything, okay? I want ah, oh, my brain, my eyes are at rest now. <laughs> Look at that. Oh god, what is this? These are some drones with the hexagonal rainbow emblem slapped on top of it. The slather shit in there. On bottom too, because why not? Uh, imagine being a guy on the bridge right here unfortunately there's no oh there is a glass in the bridge but you can't see up oh thanks to I as a gesh painter for fixing the ship with me okay so he didn't suffer along with <laughs> all by himself just imagine being in here let's just imagine being in here there's a war going on and you slowly look up to see the fucking sun, that should be good. All right, yeah. Imagine being in a war. <laughs> I know, I am just baffled, guys. I know this, I haven't been much helpful in reviewing this at the moment, but I'm just taking in the beauty here. Imagine looking up. 
and seeing this. I would be terrified and I would be happy at the same time. How do you describe that feeling? <laughs> it's like colorful bombers on top of your head, ready to bomb you with thousands of missiles anytime. But you know you're going out with colorful bang. And whenever they crash into each other, you just feel the pride coming inside you. <laughs> but nonetheless, let's start with this thing, cause I don't, I don't think my lap, lap, my graphics card just might come out of my PC and stab myself in the throat. Really, or, or, or th th I think my CPU is gonna do that before my graphic card does. But yeah, <laughs> look at this. It's like rainbows everywhere. There's like colors, things everywhere. What's what's inside this thing? I I I don't even want to know, but I want to know. Oh wow! Okay. When did they add? Oh yeah, I remember they added videos inside the game. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Meet the team. There's run. There's something running inside this thing. It can store nine million resources. Good. It can store four hundred fifty-nine thousand ammo. It needs eight million fuel. It has like God knows how much is that? Seven hundred three thousand engine power. And what is that in the brackets? One hundred twenty-two thousand electrical power. The electricity is <laughs> thirty million. <laughs> oh god, why have you why have you done this? It's moving at six meters per second, of course it is. I, I would assume it's one of the most heaviest thing ever made. Jesus. Yeah, just the runway is on a separate block. Spin block. Why do you do this to me, cruiser? <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's there's this particle guns from the Gadium or Gazer battleship. Yes, these are particle cannons. I actually do not want to shoot this thing, but let's shoot this thing for the heck of it anyway. I'll shoot the drones, I swear to God. Even there, there are two axis turrets even. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They're quite fast to be honest. And I think the repair was causing all that lag. Hello, dear drones. Would you mind? Would 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 you mind me to? Oh God! Oh God! My ears. The pride is getting on. The pride is getting on. Look at that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> as if you didn't. As if you didn't have enough rainbow, Doctor Cruiser. Okay, I just should not look at that. Look at that. Ooh, that is anything. That is. In the way here it, it is gonna get smooshed pretty much oh my god two fps great oh yeah and the game crashed <laughs> of course it's crashed so what i'm gonna do is delete all these things actually can i delete multiple yeah definitely can <laughs> boom what is it's a bomber or is it not a boomer oh my god after so many individual clicks later guys this thing finally will float alone and I will save it without the drones for god damn it I want to check out each different things I, I, I'm regretting doing this okay it's taking way more time that yeah, look at that if, even Windows is like oh huh, your game is not responding would you like me to pull the switch on it <laughs> no Windows the game is responding it, just give it a few millennia <laughs> It's trying to spawn in something that it should not be <laughs> this time. Welcome everyone to the first episode of Tumblers. Today we're going to be looking at handmates. Now, uh, before we begin, Tumblersums. Stupid. This is so stupid. All right. Now let's turn off everything on this thing. Aircraft carrier two. Like it, this thing has three AIs to begin with. Let's pause everything. Let's spawn in. Let's let's go big, okay? Let's let's go steel striders, godly, and let's go with there. Turn off. Okay, where's the there? There's the there. I don't like to the there spawn in a bit closer. I don't think. Oh God. That shot faster than I anticipated it to shoot. 
Oh god, the stair is full of holes. Oh, the stair is full of holes. S things still reloading. Because I'll come back to the stair in a while, but... <laughs> Look at that, it even has... Like, are those large missiles? Those are large missiles that managed to completely miss... Those are medium missiles that also managed to completely miss. Hey, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's shoot the third in the bosoms. Oh God, what? Oh, look at that. And there goes our dear little third, which we should kind of turn off all the controls for, for everything. Turn off shooting for this thing too, just in case. All right, third. Let's aim at the there, and we shall shooty shooty shoot. Oh god, why did it shoot? Oh my god! <laughs> why did it shoot? God damn it! The moment I uh, left control of the weapons, it started deadly shooting. That's r That was, oh my god, that was so much faster without the drones. So these guns do rotate fast, like look at that. Look at that rotation speed. Let's pause this. Let's say aim at the third. Look at them. Oh, that's one fast rotation speed. So the turrets are not that heavy. They're on a five meter. Of course, they're on a five meter like turret base. I, I can't even remember the names of things anymore. Let's shoot. There you go. Nice planting of all the rainbows inside the fair. It lo it's like <laughs> it was going so accurate up until this point and then it lost the accuracy. And I guess when I shot in the air, the barrels were well within, like the barrels were shooting straight. So their accuracy was greater. But now the accuracy, eh, not so much, but eh, even without the accuracy, the amount of beams. This thing just pumps out. <laughs> Look at that. One turret completely gone, completely chopped. Even with the Thayer's heavy armor scheme. Yeah, it's, it's pretty safe to say. <laughs> one turret is completely gone from just one shot. Look at that, let's aim at this place. Let's shoot. Yeah, still pretty inaccurate, but the oh my god, the <laughs> the amount of colorful particle beams just passing through the whole ship—it's it's just a bit tad bit ridiculous. So yeah, oh, and then the large torpedo missiles just come in to add insult to the injury. Definitely insult to the injury. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. I love it a lot. <laughs> Let, let's... Uh, let's make them both fight, I guess. Yeah, let's, let's make them both fight. I'll, I'll leave controls of the guns. Let's see what happens. Oh, God. That amount of... Uh, there oh god wow i'm pretty sure a lot of like important parts of the third are gone from that first salvo of beams there go holy shit it's even more lethal when turned out like controlled by the ai what was that water splash was that there yeah that's the third eight meter shells but let's see what eight meter shells of the third do against this yeah just some Runway superficial damage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And what about the missiles? Does this thing have lamps? Uh, definitely does not have lamps. So it's going to get plummeted a little. By the third. Oh my god. My PC. Help. My PC is dying. <laughs> oh. But it seems like it soaked all that damage. Without much effort really. It's going to shoot back. It's going to shoot back. This is gonna shoot back. There's that. Oh, it shot back. 
Look at that rainbow. <laughs> 75 to 73%. Safe to say this is a pretty dangerous thing. Pretty dangerous. <laughs> Guys, I just noticed. I don't know how I did not notice this before. 69. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> and even the helicopter is not H. It's G. Because Gadium. <laughs> so it's launching gay copters, not helicopters. <laughs> and this is 69 here as well. So it's 69. And it's Gadium, it's full of sexual innuendos. Let's take it in. This is not something you go in and dissect. You just accept this thing. You just look at it. It looks absolutely fabulous. I absolutely adore the weapon placements at an angle and whatnot. It looks like a giant working futuristic aircraft carrier to be sure, to be honest. And then there's a curtain of rainbow here inside you can go and that would be the hangar where the planes are stored then there's like <laughs> rainbow strips around in here even the guns have rainbow things all around them we have rainbow road looking pack up on top we have rainbow flag in the sides and that, that's quite the adorable flag we have rainbow strips even on the side why are these barrels and he even has added moving parts. Look at that. That is a non-functional pack barrel, but it's moving and it looks kind of nice. Yeah. Looks adorable. Let's go into the ship and follow it because I'm having to rotate the camera and it's weird. Oh my God. Really? I need to... Yeah. Stop. Stop video. Stop. Thank you. Let's look at that. Even hexagonal gaze at things and oh, oh my god the IR cameras are colored in rainbow the smoke is all rainbow there's a hanger in the back too but it's not curtained and I'm disappointed but look at this thing this thing it has cranes even like how much time can someone put into just the aesthetics of something I think this is a two month build even the steam propellers, glad it has steam propellers, otherwise I don't know if, if this thing would have moved. But unfortunately there's, I think there is accessibility, let's, let's try it out, let's try it out in first person view. Yeah, there's a theater downstairs and you can hear that from the pilot's cockpit. That's crappy design because sometimes the captain just needs some peace. Captain's getting pissed. <laughs> Oh, do I not have my thingy-majingy? Okay, I, I might not have my minigun and whatnot with me. I don't know why, but I simply don't. I want to shoot that thing. Come on. Eh, whatever. Let's go down. There's windows. You can look out the windows. It's too bright to look out. But if you just open this, look at that. You can get to the hangar from here. Even the crane moves. The crane moves, guys. Look at that. What? It moves, guys. That is so nice. You can take a walk in the runway, which is made out of rubber. What kind of rubber is this? Like, there's two strips of rubber. Is that is that like... Yeah, just rubber beams rotated. And... Oh, don't fall in there. Look at that. Look at how good that looks. It actually feels like a giant ass ship now. I think this is this is a realistic size of a real life ship. Oh, I would be terrified to look here. <laughs> Can we go down? Let's find out. <laughs> and from the second door, there you go. And then we can go down. There's some raw resource containers. Pretty chromey, almost like mirrory. Who coats raw resource containers with chrome paint? And then there's the gadium helipads that you can access. So this is built with complete internals with mine. I'm even more baffled now. Look at that. There's there's cargo crates. 
I don't know when they added that, but that looks kind of does look amazing. It has even doors open. What? But I think you were an attack robot who came to invade the surface. He has Easter eggs inside. Oh my God, it's a hologram. <laughs> That's a table. And it's an empty cargo thing. I'm inside. I don't know what they're called. Cargo, cargo barrels? They're not barrels. Jesus Christ, the size of these missiles. Like, when you come towards them with your robot, you get the actual damn size of that thing. Just look at that. They are big. Really big. And it's it really... Oh, there's, there's a little bit of flooding going on in here. There's a little bit of rogue water going through, but look at this. Oh, wow. This actually looks like a service bay of an actual ship. I've never been to a working ship, but I've been inside, like, museum-kept World War battleships and submarines. It, it actually it does look accurate. What are behind these doors? Nothing. Nothing. I'm disappointed. I, <laughs> I expected crew quarters, cruiser. It's nothing. I expected crew quarters, but I guess like having 10 FPS really turned him off from making those. Oh, look at that. What is this? There's ladders. What? What? There's ladders. There's resource containers inside glass. And there's, there's some pipes going in. Oh, wow. There's another of these in the front. Wow. You can go back in. Just look at this absolute unit of a ship. And it even has working internals. I don't know what that black thing is. Jesus Christ, that's a mimic and that's a boiler, but that's big. Oh, wow. It's... <laughs> Rainbow pipes, of course, pumping the rainbow color throughout the ships. That's the, that's the pipes. That's the veins and arteries of this ship. The ship runs on pr gay pride. <laughs> oh, look at that. There's even a backside to it. More chrome containers poking through. Okay, we can go here. There's there's some mimics and particle cannons. We cannot get. There's no door here. I'm disappointed. Let's look at these beauties. He even added generators to make him look like there's like straps turning the thing up and down, turning these barrels up and down. Really nice touches all around. Just like these <laughs> air intakes looking like air exhaust for those giant packs all around. Yep. Look at that. This thing is completely RTG powered on the electrical side. He just shoved this thing up with RTG. Like, even look at that if we zoom out a little and press Shift P four times. That's supposed to take out the armor, right? But this goddamn thing is so big, even the taking out of armor is happening in layers. So you can get to the full view of the internals of this thing. Just look at this. Look at the armor disappear bit by bit. The armoring scheme, I've checked it out, it's not that impressive. It's just heavy armor on top of heavy armor on top of metal on top of heavy armor just slapped around. <laughs> this thing is completely heavy armor laced in the insides, I do think. <laughs> Look at that! Like giant train lines. Of RTGs to power this thing, small RTGs, big RTGs, <laughs> batteries, everything. And why did he paint these fuel tanks black? I have no idea. Look at the amount of pro oh my god, look at the amount of propellers down in here to keep this thing afloat. What the hell? And then there's this the modular engine just slapped around. Those are not even efficient. Those are injector engines, for God's sake. And it does seem to be having lamps, but I don't know where they work. Too laggy to find that out, but what are those lasers used for? Jesus Christ. 
How big can someone go? Look at that, guys. <laughs> it's just Time Turtles is just copied stuff over and over again, and there's there's like uh, tons and tons of Deadly Blades in the back. Jesus Christ. I don't even want to look at it. Look at that flapping around. But yeah, guys, that's that's the Gadium airship. <laughs> the brother, well, maybe the bigger brother of the Gazer battleship we reviewed a year ago. And yeah, I, what can I say? I cannot rate it on battle. I can't. I cannot rate it on anything. Cause it's it's just a, it's just like a showpiece. It's just like an art piece, an art piece of expression. Like this is one of those art pieces. It's it's definitely an art piece of expression from someone who is kind of involved with the LGBT community. He kind of is, and yeah, his it's just an expression from him, I guess, in the form of games. Anyone that tells me sometimes games are not in form of art I'll just show them this like come on how people do this shit out of wood carvings out of wax why not do it in games it's easier it's cheaper a lot of people don't have money to make a model or sculpture out of good oily clay they cost a lot I use them they cost a lot a lot of people even I didn't need have the money before so why not games you, you buy a game you can play it for thousands of hours you can make as many of as you want if you just buy one game at like thirty dollars go ahead make two thousand sculptures inside a game sometimes a game is just not a game look at this yeah that's why i didn't notice the propellers they're all freaking armored jesus but yeah guys, games, they can be absolute art forms. Minecraft, many people take Minecraft as art form, not just a game. People express themselves in Minecraft. Kids can express themselves like a billion times more inside Minecraft as they can do on paper. Because like paper, it ends. Colors, it ends. You gotta go to the shop and buy more. You gotta nag your parents to buy you more as a kid let's launch minecraft sit on it all day make something great it lasts forever until your parents go bankrupt and you don't have electricity in the room but we're not talking that kind of poverty <laughs> but yeah guys that's that's the gadium battleship just look at that full of mimic blocks and Looks kind of nice too. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's all about the Gadium aircraft carrier. A really laggy art piece. I, it, it was pretty fun doing this. It took me three hours of recording because, by God, the lag was pretty bad. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching. I love the Gadium aircraft. And I'll see you guys in the next one.